What's up today? We're going to be playing in the RU Snake Draft, another important RU tournament. And this week I'm going to be using a hyper offensive team, which is definitely going to be cool. It's built around Lainoon and then Misty Terrain Explosion Weezing Galar. And the idea is to try and use setup sweepers with the support of Misty Terrain so I can't be toxic. That's the main idea. All right, let's get started. So let's look at the matchup. I want to try and identify which Pokemon is his Scarfer. Because if I can find out what is Scarf, then I'll know what outspeeds me and what doesn't, right? So, um, first of all, Ly Lynoon, it, uh, I don't think, we, we barely outspeed Chandelure, which I assume is by design. So, the concern then becomes Cobalion, right? So, Cobalion can live in extreme speed and then hit me with close combat. So, Lynoon is probably not the best sweeper. However, what Lynoon can do is Lynoon can force in the Cobalion, and then I use Necrozma to set up on the Cobalion. So that's one thing I can do. Uh, what else? It might be either Scarf Flygon or Scarf Togekiss or Scarf Heliolisk. I probably cannot get Sticky Web up versus that versus that too. Poltergeist looks really good. Let's just run the Calc versus uh, Heliolisk. Heliolisk. Um, assume it specs for now, but it might not be. Um, Polter Poltergeist, right? So even if I okay, so say I boost up to. Yeah, okay, uh, Stored Power will be knocking it out. So I'm thinking maybe Poltergeist is my best option. Get a Reflect, get a Light Screen up, and then go for the Poltergeist. I will have to be careful about that too. Like, a really ambitious play is I could try and Sticky Web, predicting him not to go Zatu simply because Zatu is such an obvious play. But the risk is so high because everything on my team is grounded. So I probably don't even want to do that. Um, Poltergeist... When it, okay, so Poltergeist kind of just wins, right? Like, it literally just wins, because his Scarfers won't be able to outspeed. So maybe I can, for example, go uh, set up Lainoon, force in the Cobalion, and then set up Sweep with Poltergeist, maybe. But even then, I have to worry about Taunt Cobalion. Uh, no matter what, I do lead Rebombi, but I just have to be worried about Taunters and trying to set up Poltergeist as risk-free as possible, because I can outspeed everything, I believe, unless it is Scarf Heliolisk. Um, actually, let's calc that, right? Scarf Heliolisk, if we put it at plus one, it reaches 522. So we outspeed even Scarf, Pol uh, Scarf Heliolisk. So I think this is going to be a good matchup as long as we can get the Poltergeist in. So that means no risks. We don't have to predict and get our Sticky Web up. There's just no point in predicting it. Like, I would love to predict Sticky Web. Like, I would love to predict him not going Zatu here, but it's not worth the risk. So we'll just light screen. Um, yeah, we'll just light screen. There we go. Um, yeah, I would have loved to sticky web there, but it wasn't worth the risk, even though I predicted him not going to Zatu here. We can Moonblast, or we can go to... Let's reflect. He doesn't have a Fairy Resist either. So, this could be Choice Specs, we don't know. Um, Poltergeist, Chandelure, Choice Specs. Could it be Toxic as well? Because I, wa I was going to see if I can set up Poltergeist immediately. But Toxic would be really annoying, wouldn't it? Hmm. What about... Do I get a Reflect or do I go Weezing? Um, hmm. We do have time to think about it. Do I Reflect? Do I Moonblast? Do I go Weezing? Poltergeist. Um, let's run that calc again. Poltergeist. And so yeah, Shadow Ball is obviously doing a lot, but if we get the light screen up, where is light screen? Yeah, if we get the light screen up, then we are living the hit. But Chandelure might run Toxic. Should I be scared of Toxic Chandelure? Should I maybe... See, I would love to keep Rebombi as a sack. So let's just go Weezing for now. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think I literally just Misty Explosion maybe? Do I Misty Explosion? See, um, does he have a Taunter, right? So maybe Taunt Cobalion, maybe? Or what if I Misty Explosion, he goes Togekiss, and Air Slash flinches me? That is also a possibility. Um, I think we can just Misty Explode here, right? Okay. 87. Teleport, okay. That's expected, but now... I assume you would go to Chandelure here. 
no matter what you go to, you don't deny the poltergeist setup, right? No matter what you go to, you're going to give up the poltergeist setup. You would have to go to maybe Togekiss so you have a flinching chance of beating Poltergeist. But that's about it. I don't think... He goes to Chandelure here. But... Poltergeist wins, right? Chandelure, Choice Specs, with Light Screen up. Even if it's modest. Or, what am I doing? No, 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 this, this should be modest. Even if it's modest, you're not getting the one hit KO. There is no priority on the team. Let's double check our calcs again. Poltergeist. For example, Togekiss. Let's check Togekiss. Are you bulky? We don't quite get the one hit KO actually. That's a problem. And we're not we're not even modest timid, right? That is assuming max bulk. But I'm not convinced it is. Um what about Flygon? Flygon surely dies in one hit, right? Yeah, Flygon surely dies. So I would have to be scared of like Poltergeist and Togekiss living the attack, right? Does that mean I set up now? See, the thing is, uh, let's check the analysis. I don't think Togekiss runs a lot of bulk though, right? Let's try a non-bulky Togekiss. Togekiss, are you nasty plot? Oh, even then we don't, we don't do enough. Okay, so we can't go uh, Poltergeist just yet. We can go to Necrozma and try and Dragon Dance, right? Because Shadow Ball will only tr trigger the weakness policy. Let's go to Necrozma, let's Dragon Dance, and we got damage on the Zatu. So that's good too. Okay. Photon Geyser, right? I am scared a little bit of like a Scarf. Uh, a Scarf. Flygon. Oh, while we're here, let's count that damage. Was it in fact choice specs? Chandelure, choice specs, Necrozma. Shadow Ball did 52 to 61. It did do 52 to 61. Okay. He goes to. Oh, that's Scarf Togekiss. I mean, it's definitely looking like Scarf Togekiss the way he went to it. Um, he can't T wave me. So I think I just. Dragon Dance, maybe? Or do I just... Do I go for the kill right now? I think I... Um, I think it doesn't matter, right? Either... Whether I Dragon Dance or not doesn't matter. Um, because the reason you would go to Togekiss is because you are the... Is because you are the Scarfer, right? So we can Dragon Dance. Come on. Okay, I think we win now. Right? Yeah, I think we win. Photon Geyser is in contact. So, yeah, I think we win. I think we win. I think we definitely win. Pulled, like, nothing is, everything is outsped. We have, like, a billion attack points. Photon Geyser is in contact, so there's no Rocky Helmet situations. Yeah, I think we win. I don't think he's double Scarf. I don't think he is Scarf Togekiss. I don't think he's, like, I mean, I think he's Scarf Togekiss, but I don't think he's double Scarf with maybe Scarf Heliolisk or something like that. Yeah, I don't. Do, I think, I think this is a win, right? Everything is one hit KO'd by Poltergeist. Let's see what he goes to now. I think it's it. I think it's over. We can't miss the attack. We can't trigger Rocky Helmet. It's over. Yeah, this is over. And for fun, I just want to count that Togekiss. Togekiss. Azuma doesn't have any bulk. Like Scarf wouldn't run bulk, I think, right? So, what am I looking for? Poltergeist, right? If I get my special attack boost. Yeah, it, might, it was still only 31%. But yeah, this might be over. I don't think you have a way out of the of the Photon Geyser. Okay, Photon Geyser, one hit KO. Yes, th there we go. One hit KO. Now everything is going to get one hit KO. Uh, Cobalion, let's just double check that. I'm really, really scared of choking. Cobalion, oops, not cock. Cobalion, Swords Dance. I'm scared of Shaka, so that's why I'm not Earthquaking, right? Necrozma plus four, right? Yeah. Oh, don't tell me this is Scarf. Okay, yeah, it's not Scarf. There we go. Yeah, it's not Scarf. I was so scared that it was double Scarf. And Necrozma wins. Eight turns, Necrozma win. That's how you draw it up. 
really, really cool team with, you know, offensive Rebombi and then Toxicity, Necrozma, all these goons. Really, really fun game to play. And yeah, if you like this type of live content, let me know down in the comments below.